All right. Great day today. Uh, I made some changes on the MTU uh, SC Mossberg. Uh, one, I put the otter on here, so uh, you can see co-witnesses. So we'll um, run with that for now. See how that goes. Uh, I was going to run this light on here because I thought it would fit in this Glock 43 uh, slash. Um, I think it was a TLR7 mini holster so this fits in this holter holster great it fit better with this and as you can see here this one is permanently attached so this is a holster i normally use this one here has a locking lever that allows you to take it off you know quick detach these are roughly kind of the same like five to seven hundred lumen uh, output so what I decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this on there. And I may just cut, take a little bit of this um, lever off right here. Take it off so it's not hitting my thumb on recoil. I mean, that's the idea. And then this guy, I'm going to heat this up and mold it so it'll fit this lever and seat the MC2C all the way. Probably have to trim some of this off. And uh, then I'll have me a nice holster that involves light if I want. Or if I want to take this off and just run with this. Like if I go on a, on a, on a walk or a run or a hike, I use that because I normally don't need light. However, if I'm wanting to carry the light, I'll have this holster. So that's kind of my two holster setup that I'm going to run with. So really quick, uh, just showing you some changes. Uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, comment and uh, have a great day all right so here we are in the little shop of horrors uh again we're in the um the underground the bunker whatever y'all call it um we're gonna be heating this up right here on this side because i think that's the only side that needs this here this is mt so you see youtube so that's the only side that needs this uh there so Sometimes, um, you know, if you're doing kydex, normally, like if you're making a knife or, or doing something different, you want to cover this with uh, some painter's tape or something just to give it a little spacing. So it's, you know, you get about a thousand uh, spacing, 1500, something like that. So it's not just always rubbing up against there. Uh, for the price of this site, I'm not really worried about it getting rubbed or scratched or anything like that. So I'm going to run this heater, and once it's hot, I'll turn the camera back on. You can see uh, what's happening. But, uh, yeah, so because it's noisy, I remember last time it was pretty loud, so pretty loud. So we're going to stop filming and we'll go from there. Sorry, i got to leave it on so I can show you how it's hot enough to mold it to how I want. So I'm going to um, try to get that to seat in there a little further so i might have to um warm it up again you know get it hot so i can but you can see where it's i don't know if you can see where it's kind of dented that out it's already started to get saw, uh, hardened again so i'm gonna heat it back up and we'll go from there a little bit on this side maybe need to get jiggy with it you see it's losing its shape so you kind of know that it's uh Ready to be worked with here a bit just to get our holster in there. So you see, it's kind of spread out, and I can kind of shape it back down to where I like it, and then it's gonna pop in there and be able to hold. 
Now see it's flexible to a degree, but that's gonna keep my weapon light in there. I think it's in there far enough. Um, what I don't want is this right here. See, that could possibly, I may have to cut this out so it doesn't uh, actuate the uh, mag catch, but there's plenty of room there. However, you know, it's not a, a real thick material. So, it's not exactly a thick material. So we'll, uh, I don't know, I think that'll work. For now, it's in there far enough as far as I'm concerned. If I need to, I'll heat it up some more and, and get it to uh, land in there a little deeper. Deeper, you know. Anyway, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah.